Fast is coming around, going to get some more vulture harassment. There's nothing here at the natural expansion to defend it, so there's no telling how many STVs are going to go down there if he does actually decide to commit to that. And Lean is kind of letting his macro slide here. He might be focusing on his battle in the middle, but he has a lot of idle STVs at his main. He only has two bases, so there's not really any reason he should have that many idle mining units. But whatever, the barracks from Fantasy going down, so he's going to have to rebuild his barracks uh, and maybe get an engineering bay out there to get some vision. But Lita, I think, does have the advantage in this game right now. He's moving up with some uh, tanks here. He's trying to snipe these vultures with tanks, working out pretty well for him. And it looks like he's trying to take that middle while Fantasy's taking his third base over there. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I don't think that Lita is starting his third base yet. I don't think he has that third base up. He's getting some dropships out here, so it looks like we're going to see some dropship play from Lita, and that's being scanned. So I think Fantasy did scan that, and he knows about these dropships that are coming. And he's running his troops back, so I think he definitely knows about it. He's going to try to stop that from happening with just vultures and uh, his backup troops that are coming out of the factories right now. He's going to keep those troops at home and make sure he doesn't lose any SCVs with this uh, dropship attack that's coming in. Uh, looks like the dropship's just being hovered here from Lita. Maybe he knew about that scan, or maybe he's trying to do something else here in the middle, trying to drop over those siege tanks, maybe. He's uh, flying over here. He might know about that new base up there at the 10 o'clock. Yeah, it looks like he does. He's going up there to drop some units and take that down right now. So this is going to hurt Fantasy an awful lot, because... I think he has built his command center there. I don't think he has an opportunity to cancel it right now. Nope. No opportunity to cancel <laughs> this SCV is like going to work. And then they're like, holy crap, I see a lot of units. So they're running back home. Calling in sick. And it uh, looks like uh, the uh, the uh, command center rather is being floated away from Fantasy. So that base isn't going to be mining anytime soon until he can bring in some troops to uh, take it down, but he's got to use his backup troops to do it. He has to keep his other tanks in the middle of the map or he's going to lose the middle. So this is a smart play from Lita so far, just trying to divide Fantasy's attention. He's building turrets all over the place, anticipating a starport. Maybe he scanned that new starport from Fantasy. I'm not exactly sure. But Fantasy is building turrets all over the place too. It looks like these guys are turtling up and they are going for the late game right now. They might be going... Uh, Wraiths or battle cruisers soon, since uh, each has a pretty substantial ground force, and they want to get that air superiority. Yeah, there's a Goliath being uh, repaired there. It's pretty rare to see that. And down here, looks like uh, Lita is taking his third base, and we'll see if Fantasy allows this to happen or not, or if he tries to go eye for an eye and take it down. Some more dropships out here for Lita. Lita's doing a good job with the dropships, keeping Fantasy scared and sieged up there in the middle. All he needs to do, really, is keep Fantasy from uh, taking down his base down there at the 5 o'clock. And I think he'll pretty much have the economic advantage since he was able to stop the 10 o'clock from coming up. Although Fantasy has floated his uh, command center down to a new position here. He's actually uh, committed to taking the uh, inside 11 o'clock base. He said, eh, whatever. Oh, it looks like uh, Fantasy is coming in here. Might be able to stop. Yes, he does stop that STV building the command center, but uh, not going to matter too much. Let's see what's going on here. The science facility coming up. So it looks like we're going to see that for some higher upgrades. Could be seeing some science vessels out if they decide to go for battle cruisers. But Fantasy is coming down to do some more vulture harassment here. But there is a tank just completely blocking that one entrance but smartly fantasy is taking the second entrance around and he's going to be pick off he's going to pick off this new fourth base that i didn't even know about from lita down here at the uh, inside five o'clock base a science facility and a control tower coming up for fantasy so he's probably going to commit to rays of his own cloaked ray battle in the middle would be pretty epic Let's see what's going on here. Both players, well, I, l I think Lita has four bases up and running. I'm not sure about Fantasy. I think he's at three. I don't think he's gotten his fourth base yet. And Lita does have a lot of just idle SCVs laying all over the place. He still has his army up here at the 10 o'clock, so that army's been up there a long time. And Fantasy's trying to bring in his army and finally take that out. But Lita's not going to give up here without a fight. He's going to try to take out a couple of units before his own units go down. And yes, he does. 
He might even be able to take out this tank. I think he is going to be able to take out the tank. Not quite. He loses the vision on that tank, so he can't finish it off. Almost taking out that tank. Man, that was close. Okay, let's see what's going on here. It looks like some SCV is going out to possibly a new base for Lita. Lita has quite a few dropships in here. Physics Lab for Fantasy. So we're going to see some battle cruisers from Fantasy. No Physics Lab for Lita. So Lita could be committing to uh, wraiths at this point. He just could go race against battle cruisers. But it looks like we are tr we are seeing two more players trying to emulate Up Magic versus Flash on this map. Hopefully it doesn't go on as long as that game. And uh, hopefully it is as epic, though. Looks like Lita is dropping here. It drops a ton of units down here to take out what Fancy has, but he didn't know about these other tanks over here at the in the inside of the map. So he lost quite a few units trying to uh, take out some more units on the ledge there. So kind of a stalemate there in the middle. I think Lita lost quite a few troops there. And there's the physics lab is researching, so we're going to see some Yamato cannons very, very soon. Absolutely nothing in here to deal with the Wraith from Fantasy. So Fantasy, it looks like, is going to pump Wraiths and Battle Cruisers, I guess. So he's going for a Wraith Battle Cruiser army, which is trying to take that air superiority. He's building new starports all over the place, so he's going to commit very heavily to Battle Cruisers. And as soon as he lands, his command center is being shelled here. I don't think he knew about that uh, that siege tank that's still back here. He almost completely forgot about it. And he's building a... Uh, yeah, he's building a <laughs> commsat station there, so he might have to actually lift up this command center. No, he takes out the SCV. He's going to have to repair that command center, though. Looks like there's a Goliath sneaking back there, too, trying to pick off the SCV building the gas, but it's not to be. Looks like both players are up to four bases right now, and this is when it starts to get interesting, because both, I think, are going to commit to a very large uh, air fleet here. The, f the physics lab coming up for Lita, so we're going to see a battle cruiser battle. Battle cruiser battle. Battle battle in the middle of the map for the remaining minerals. This is when it gets very interesting, because each player has half of the map right now, and something's got to give. Looks like Lita's building more starports, a lot more starports, so we're going to see a battle cruiser battle. This is going to be awesome. Uh, Fantasy's coming down with his first battle cruiser. I'm not sure what he's going to accomplish with that. But uh, he's going down, probably going to try to snipe some SUVs at an expansion and then pull back to his uh, new battle cruisers. It looks like three armories out there for Fantasy. He's going to get heavy, heavy upgrades to his battle cruisers. And he's going to try to win the upgrade war there while Lita is just building starports all over the place unbelievable so it looks like <laughs> yeah it looks like Lita is mine going to mine gas backwards from that other expansion over there at the nine o'clock <laughs> he's just trying to play it absolutely safe because he knows fantasy could just siege up there and take out the command center if he built it in the proper place there <laughs> so no telling what's going to happen there a lot of uh, dropships coming in here and looks like Lita's dropping a ton of troops taking out everything over here at the three o'clock He's getting rid of turrets as well. So he might be able to take this 3 o'clock base. I think he will. He's building turret down here. He's probably going to build his command center soon. And, uh, yeah, he might need that <laughs> that uh, 3 o'clock base eventually just for gas because uh, there's going to be almost no more gas left once the uh, 9 o'clock and the 3 o'clock both go up for Lido. So Lita, he has a ton of factories out here, and look at all the starports, my god. And they all have control towers almost. So we're going to see battle cruisers, nothing but battle cruisers from this point on. This is going to be pretty darn epic. Let's see how many of these starports are actually pumping. I see some pumping starports there for Fantasy, so he's utilizing his starports there. And uh, Fantasy is doing a pretty good job holding his half of the middle. Of course, uh, each player wants to take full control of the middle so they can get those minerals. Uh, either that or they're going to mine out eventually. Lita is uh, actually mining minerals there as well, long distance mining at that uh, 9 o'clock base. So that's pretty funny. And I'm not sure what his plan is for the, uh, the 3 o'clock base. I'm not sure if he's built a command center there or not. I know he has control of that area of the map. And Fantasy's trying to come in here and take control away from Lita. 